forgot to talk about Desmos regarding tables. Um, so I want to do that really quick in this video. I'm giving you guys problem 13 uh, over here to solve. Um, it's a good idea to know how to solve it by hand, but I also want to show you how to do it in Desmos so you can do it in probably 30 seconds instead of however long it would take you to write it by hand. So um, in Desmos, uh, we want to input tables. Um, whenever you see a table on the SAT, jump to Desmos, okay? Um, Desmos is really great at solving these things. So what you want to do is type out table. When I push E, it's going to automatically make a table for me. Um, and then we want to write in our values, negative 64, 0 and 64. Um, one thing to note about this is that um, instead of having it just x and y, it automatically has it x sub 1 and y sub 1. This is important to note when we start writing in the actual equation we want them to use. We have to use x sub 1 and y sub 1 because if we don't, it, it's telling Desmos that those are two different things. Okay. Um, now, what Desmos is doing is that it's just plotting those points. It doesn't know what to do with it. So what we want to do is tell Desmos the um, equation we want them to use essentially, okay? So in problem 13, it says um, that f is defined by f of x equals ax plus b. This is y equals mx plus b, right? That's the form that we're using. Um, and as you can tell, a is the slope and b is the y-intercept and we just need to minus the slope from the intercept or vice versa in order to get our solution. And so what we do in Desmos is we wanna do y sub one and then we want to do a squiggle, okay? So I have a Mac. The squiggle is above the tab. So I do shift and then the button that's above the tab. And it gives you a little squiggle. So y equals m x sub 1 plus b. So when we do the squiggle, it'll give us all this information about this situation, okay? The one that we care about is down here in the parameters. Um, it will automatically calculate the plot for you, or the the slope for you and the y-intercept so we have essentially what a is 64 and b is negative 28 we have to minus those in the problem so we can do m minus b and it gives us the answer and that's how we can do desmos to solve that problem super quick um, but it's still important to know how to do it by hand as well. So I just wanted to jump on and give you guys this video because I totally forgot to mention it in class. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys.